In this code.org lesson, we are going to make our own pets using events, behaviors, and awesomeness. Let's dive in. This is code.org, and we have a virtual pet. Whoa, check out this cool pet. Do this. Play with the virtual pet. Read the code to see how it works. What happens when you touch, when the pet touches other sprites? What happens when you click the pet? Run the code and play with the pet. Click OK when you're done. Let's real quick take a peek at our code. Oh, it's teeny. Great. All right. So when I click run the background, yep. And we make this sprite. Yep. And we make a bowl of food and a ball. Now we set all the size 100, 150. And then what should happen? Well, this bowl should be draggable. Begins being dragged. Huh. And sprite is also draggable. So can we? Oh, so once I click run, I'm able to drag these. Now let's see. When dog touches bowl, can I control the dog? No, but I can touch the bowl. Oh, wow. What happens? A sound is played. You can't hear that sound, but the dog also gets larger. Now let's see. When the, because these are separate events, right? These, this stuff, everything when run goes immediately. Then when these occur, these will happen. So when the dog touches the ball, stops everything. Sprite begins spinning. Ooh, yeah. Cool. When the dog is clicked, stops everything and points north. Click. Oh, that's cool. So all these events. I can't wait to see what we're going to do with all this. Onward. Now it's your turn. Yeah. Create your own virtual pet. Let's start by making sprites for your pet and food. Do this optional. Click the costumes tab to add a new costume to your project. Uh Oh, look. Way up here. All right, and my students, you want to do this optional costumes tab. They hide it up there. Oh, look at all of our options. Ooh. All right, but I want something new. So I'm going to new costume. Click. Woo. This is so much stuff. It ain't used to. <gasps> oh, oh, that's happening. 100% that dude. Cute. Okay, got a new costume. Make two sprites with different costumes. Okay, and this is going to be saved, so we're going to want to do a good job. Choose different locations. Change the size of your sprites. Okay, so let me do less here. Now, what do we got to do? Well, we have this background. Feel free to change that if you want. Sprites. Make a new sprite. So click. I will drop that here because that's what we're going to want to do first. First, we want to make our sprites before we change their size because otherwise it will give us an error. So this first one is definitely this thing. Oh, there we go. I was too zoomed in. Boom. Cool. I'm going to zoom in again because it's easier to read. So now I got one. I'm going to pick where we're located. Sure. Right there. Now I'm going to make another sprite, right? So first, boom, boom. And now I'll use, uh, uh, oh, the line. All right. And I'm going to move my line over here, maybe. Let's start by make, oh, I'm supposed to do food. Just kidding. That guy's not going to eat a lion. <gasps> He's going to eat a fish a poop. All right. Fish. And fish can be there. Now I need to change their size. So sprite and set. Change the size of your sprites with set size. So we don't want to use change. We want to use set. Now, I want to show you something. Sprites. And I'm going to grab two of these right away. Set size. Now, let's say I want my... Oh, he's up there. That's going to get annoying. My, this guy, to be 125. I'm going to make him even bigger. Why not? And then I'm going to make this... Food, notice I have to change this because we don't have a dog. This isn't going to do anything, right? I want to make the fish, uh, well, let's, let's make it 75, right? So, boom. Okay. Now, this is going to work. However, if I drag this up and say I put both their sizes here, well, the fish no longer works. What if I were to put their sizes first? I'm like, I know I need to change their size. Neither of these work. We have to ask our sprite to be made first, right? Make this guy, put him here. Make that, put him here. Then we change the size. Let's give this a try. Fancy. Onward. 
Next, let's make it so that you, the user can move the food to your pet with being dragged behavior. Cool. Do this. Add a Sprite Begins block to your code. Select your Sprite's food costume. Okay. So, find the being dragged behavior, add it. Press run. You should now be able to, yep. All right. So, let's do less. Now, so right down here, I need to find a behavior, obviously. Behavior. And, yep, Sprite Begins. Now, make sure we don't just lay it out over here. It's not going to do anything. I have to click. Now, I don't have a dog Sprite, right? I have a... This is going to be my food. I chose a fishy. Now, once again, guys, make sure you don't just throw this up here because first we have to make the sprite. It's not going to know what we're talking about if we ask it to move the sprite or, or give a sprite a behavior first. Code runs in order, right? Set the background, then make it, then make it. Now, down here, we could start doing stuff. And the event is, I mean, the behavior being dragged. Cool. That's looking good to me. Let's give it a shot. Yep, and yep. Ooh, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Onward. Now, let's use a new when touching event block to make your pet grow when it eats. Yeah. So, an event, guys. We're going to use an event. Now, keep in mind, events run. Well, I can read the. Drag out the when touching block. Select your two sprites. Use change size block when below this event to make your pet grow optional challenge and we'll do that play a sound okay so when i hit run all of this code happens i should go ahead and pick a background i guess all right when i hit run all of this code's going to start now we are going to use an event and when blank touches blank cool that's what we're going to need this code does not run automatically. That's why you can't click it into something. It has to have an event occur. So when dog, well, I don't have a dog. This isn't going to do anything. When my fish, so we can move the fish. Either way, this would work. I could say when my monster touches my fish or vice versa. So I'll do fish since we're dragging that touches my character here. So when it touches them, we need our, and do we need to keep? Change the size to make your pet grow. So we don't want to just change your size once. So sprites, change size, right? If I do set size, set size only happens once, right? So we'll set it to 50, and then it's not going to do anything anymore because it will still run. It will still run, right? But watch, boom, 50 now, but... If I do it again, it can't be set to 50 again. It's still working, so we need change. So get rid of that sprite. Change size by, uh, I gotta pick mine. And I don't have a dog, I have a, I have a purse, uh, a monster. So change size by, boom. Now I hit run, grab my fish, joop, joop. <laughs> awesome, onward. Next, let's add another draggable sprite for your pet to play with. This could be a toy, even a friend. Make another new sprite. Choose the costume to represent your pet's toy or friend. Change the size of the new sprite. Give the new sprite the being dragged behavior. Cool. All right, so this we can do. Um, now, I don't want it on when, when touches, right? We want it to be default. So I can just pull that over there for now and make a new. I'm gonna put it up here so my code lines up in order. It would make more sense. So sprite, make new. I'm not going to drop it down here. It just makes more sense to have everything grouped together. Um, I kind of like... Oh, no. We got to do a penguin here. And boop. And what if I'm going to be an achiever here and do a uh, huge penguin? So sprites set. Now, keep in mind, you have to set the size after you create it. So I could drop it here. I could drop it here. I'm going to keep mine in order. And it would work either way. Uh, what if I do a penguin of 110? Yeah. All right. And then I need it to be draggable. So way down here with my other code, events, behaviors. Sprite, make sure I pick my right run. Penguin, behaviors. And code runs in order, so zoop, that should all work. Onward. Now let's show your pet's excitement by giving it a behavior when the new sprite touches it. Do this, add another when touches block to your code, Use your pet and its toy or friend. 
Use a sprite begins block to give your pet a new behavior when the new sprite touches it. Play a sound. Oh, I forgot to do that last time. Cool. All right. So we already have this, right? When my fish touches this, my pet is going to grow because my fish is the food. Now, my friend the penguin, same thing. I need an event. Events, when, what touches what? Now, events run only if something occurs. Everything under when run here runs in order. This, though, like this block, when I hit run here, not going to happen unless my fish touches whoop, and then the dude grows. Okay, so now I'm going to do when penguin touches whoop, a new behavior. Okay, and it says I can do whatever. So sprite begins mm, jittering. Yeah, yeah. Now what sprite? I don't have a dog, so make sure when the penguin touches, and I could do when the monster or the alien touches the penguin. I like that order, though, because we're dragging the penguin. So what begins? I'm going to have my sprite, right? Jitter. Okay. Now I want to add sounds, which should be in world, I believe. Yep. Cool. Got to do this last time. So we're also... Ooh. Oh, an animal. Yep. Fair. That seems random. I like it. Music? Sure. All right, let's give it a shot. So now this still works. Yep. And now let's see. Jittery and sound. Onward. Great job. I know. What else can you add to your program? Try anything you like. Try these ideas. I'm going to do all of these. Add another sprite that interacts with your pet in a different way. Okay. Right. Boom. I'm going to put mine right where I have all the others. It's good to keep your code in order. And also make sure if we make our sprite first that we can do other stuff down here. Because if I put set size above where I make it, it's not going to work. I'm actually going to use the dog because I like the doggy. Okay. In a different way. Use a win pet clicked block to make your pet stop any behaviors. All right. Well, first I'm going to work on my dog. So that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do like we did with the other ones. Space here. Sprite begins. So behaviors dog and i need it draggable all right and now i'm going to use another event just like we did before we're old pros events win dog right when dog since i'll be dragging that touches my blue person thingy behavior sprite starts hmm behavior Ooh, spinning. So I need to have, now I need to fix this. I'm not going to have the dog do it. I have this. So now that should work. Now what else? When your pet is clicked, stops. Okay, well, let's look at events. Do we have an event? Oh, yeah. When blank clicked. Okay, click. And just like the other events, when this can't attach to anything. When we hit run, it won't run. We have to do something. So when my character's clicked, okay, stop. So I know we have, st oh, stops everything. Got it. Experiment with different behaviors. Combine behaviors that make your sprite move with behaviors like wobble, wobble. Oh, okay. Well, we already have that somewhat, at least. I do. Um, We could make... Uh, I don't want it to wander off screen. I will give it one more sound. That one. We have a pretty awesome pet. Oh my goodness, look at all this code. Okay, right, let's give it a shot. Run. All right. Fishy. Rah! Grow. <laughs> what is that? Though? The jitter. And now, doggy. Doggy. Up oh, when blah is clicked. See? Boom. Can't have errors like that. Let me reset it. Boom. All right. Yep. Growing. We got to make sure we have the correct sprites. And that's what's great about code. You can make a bazillion mistakes. And like I just said, stops. Yike rose. All right. Behavior. And I make these all the time. You will too. It's okay. That's what's great about coding. We can always debug. All right. Boop. Behavior. You just have to kind of start troubleshooting. And I want to spin. Boom. All right, let's see now. Maybe I have another bug. Maybe not. 
spinning, growing, wobbling. Stop all wobble. <laughs> awesome. Onward. Oh, and no challenges. Great. Mission accomplished.